I have the pleasure to tell you a little bit about MyMix, a wonderful product that's designed to give musicians the power to control their own individual monitor mix. So if we take a look at the unit here, um, what you see, very straightforward. Every musician has, if he has a unit, gives it a name, names his inputs, which could be bass, guitar, keyboards, whatsoever. So something meaningful for the other guys in the band. So if you want to adjust your signal, you select what you want. So for example here, I take in Stefan's drums, you add the channel, you change the volume, you want to change tone control, or you want to add some effects like reverb or delay, you can do so. And if you're listening in stereo, you can set up the balance for the panorama. Okay? Everything that you're doing here automatically is captured in a profile, so in case you're having different scenarios where you use my mix, it's already taken care of like live and rehearsal whatsoever. A very nice feature on my mix is that uh, included recording option. So if you put in an SD card, all you really have to do is to capture everything is you press the record button. Now your stereo mix, which might be useful or not, is recorded to the SD card, but and that typically is useful, all individual tracks unaltered are also captured on the card. The file format is it's a WAV file, 24-bit 48K, so timestamp, so you can go right ahead and import it into whatever kind of software you have for other uses. So I just did a nice session here, I save it, I go out, you see I was busy today, I did 23 sessions on this unit already. That's just some generic stuff here where you can set up, you know, under pressure references you set up the unit name and some other stuff uh, sessions this is where you capture your recorded ones you can actually play back a session and if you really want you can go back and remix it your multi-track session that you've just recorded before so let me hit stop here and show a little more now the question is how do I listen to the great signal that I'm doing here now there's multiple ways my, my mix is completely be open to that. So, I mean, here on the trade show, we're just having some headphones, which is also convenient in a rehearsal room. On the rear of the unit, there are two line outputs balanced, so we're doing a stereo mix. And whether they go into a wireless in-ear or a stereo wedge or whatever you use to listen, um, that's actually up to you. It's fully flexible. Every unit has two inputs. This is how the signal gets on the network. And one of the questions is always, but what do I do with my front of house console? The typical answer then from me is to say, best case, you just split the signal and let the guy front of house do just what he wants. Because think about it, he is not trying to do now anymore the monitor mixing. It's the band that's taking care about the cells. And who knows better what the drummer wants to hear than the drummer himself, right? Okay, so if you got more questions, you're welcome on on www.mymixaudio.com and hopefully you'll find the answers there, otherwise drop us an email. Thank you.